How to use Search Nice Search and Filter app with Shopify. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to use it, how to install it in your store and how it actually works. Now, if you don't know, it's pretty much an application that you can use on Shopify and it provides you with so many different filters. It's going to help you with filters. It's actually going to allow you to create custom filters. It's going to allow you to create a better search bar uh, that you can use on your website or Shopify. Uh, and you can also use uh, voice search, which is also very nice. And it's not only limited to these things that I just mentioned. It also has many, many more features that we can actually go ahead and go through right uh, now. So first, we are just going to start by setting up the application and making sure that we install it on our Shopify store. And remember, this is a step by step tutorial. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Now, uh, to get started, um, we basically just want to log in into our Shopify admin. And once we do that, we basically just want to go to the Shopify um, store. So we can just go ahead and click on add apps from the bottom left. If you don't see that, click on apps and then just click on all recommended apps and just hit Shopify app store here at the bottom. This is going to pretty much just open up the store here for you and you basically just need to search for it. So just go ahead and search uh, for the search a nice search and this uh, search and uh, filters. It's going to be this one right here. I did actually uh, mess up with the name, but it is search and eyes search and filter. So just go in and open this up and we can actually start by uh, discovering the plans that they offer. So it's actually going to be free to install for development stores and you can actually go in and use it and try it out for free. Uh, and if you have a regular store, you can actually go ahead and use it for up to 25 products and you're going to have a lot of different features, but then you can also upgrade to the basic one and you will get a lot more and you can feel free to pause the video here and compare all the different plans and see which one is actually going to suit you and your Shopify plan best. Okay, so once you actually locate the app, you basically just want to go ahead and click on install. And once this loads in, we just need to confirm the installation and it should be uh, installed to our Shopify store. So just click on install one more time here at the bottom right. And then we can just safely exit out of here once it's done. Let's just wait for it just in case. And now it should just open up your Shopify store with the app open. So search and eyes, search and filter as you can see. And now you can actually go in and start the tour. So you just go in and click on start tour. And here is actually going to uh, you're going to be able to read more about the different widgets and elements that they can add for you. For example, here we have instant search uh, widgets. So you can actually read more about it if you would like. Click on next and it's actually going to run us through the things that it's actually going to uh, provide. So search results widget which is a different one that you can actually customize further. So you can actually customize the different um, suggestions that you will have ready for people, stop words and so much more. So we can just click on next. We can see personal personalization. So we have a lot more stuff that um, has to do with behavior and stuff. So click on next and click on obviously filters. Click on next, next. Uh, I mean, I'm not reading through it because I already know about it, but if you would like, I, I, I highly prefer that you actually read through these uh, little things. It's, it's just going to showcase what's, uh, uh, what it's actually going to offer for you. And once this uh, happens, so that's all uh, folks, you can just go and click on start and you should be taken to the dashboard and your 14 trial days uh, are going to start from the top right. So from the dashboard, first, we will need to actually go ahead and set up the um, app. And in order to actually make it work on your store, you will need to click on online store from the left side here. And you just go to themes, go to your theme that you're using currently and click on customize. And basically what we're trying to do is enable the app from the app embeds section on the customize. So once you actually click on customize from here, uh, this is going to open up for you. And you just need to go to the left panel until you see app embeds here at the bottom left, but uh, right to the side here. So just click on app embeds. The app for uh, the search and filters or search and eyes should pop up here for you. And you'll be able to just simply turn it on 
and once it's turned on you're good to go you can just feel free to click on save but i just need to note uh, for the time being there's no changes because we did not do anything yet we will need to set up each individual element to this app so for the time being just go ahead and click on save and safely exit out of the uh, editor now once we are uh, in here now we can just click on apps click on search and nice search and filter and we just basically we need uh, need to go back to the main dashboard here so in here we can feel free to start our setup process you can just go and click on get started within the quick start menu which i believe is actually going to uh, show us a step-by-step -step guide but we can just go and exit out of here okay so here's the thing before we start the actual setup of the elements that are provided with uh, search and eyes uh, if you're using some sort of a, a page builder, for example, PageFly and so on, you may need to go to integrations first before we get started and uh, see if you can find the app that you're using. And if you want to integrate any other app, you can also feel free to do it from here. And I suggest that you do this first before we get started, because it's just going to make things easier if we uh, integrate uh, our page builders first and then start setting up our filters, search and navigation elements and so on. So from here, we can actually go ahead and see uh, from the main dashboard, we can see search and navigation, we can see filters, merchandise and promo, sale, uh, sales engine integrations, translations and text, and also the plans and billing. So uh, I mean, I also forgot to mention the analytics, which is going to pretty much just showcase a dashboard that includes everything that happened with search and filter or search and eyes. So to start setting things up, we can just uh, start with the search and navigation click on that and then here we can actually see we are setting up the instant search widget so this is going to be the instant search widget and every single option in here is going to be related to it so uh, when it comes to templates and colors whether you want it to be single uh, column or multi-column is going to be completely up to you i highly not highly recommend i i mean i personally like to keep it as single column but if you would like it uh, to be multi-column maybe you have plenty more to show then you can just keep it with uh, which uh, with the multi-column version and then in here you can actually go in and see the colors here so if you have some sort of um, brand colors that you want to set up you can feel free to go through one through them one by one or you can just go and uh, leave it as auto to detect which is going to try to base it off of the store uh, colors that you have and then we can just go ahead and skip to the content section here and in the content section is going to show you exactly what's going to be displayed on the uh, widget so we can actually go ahead and go through them one by one so for example whether you wanted to, uh, to show the products obviously uh, but whether you wanted to show the price for it whether you wanted to show the um, sale price if you have it uh, so th remember these are going to be suggestions or when it's actually going to pop up with the widget so for example, I don't really want it to show the SKU. It's not very important to show in this uh, scenario for me. And if you want to set up a max description strings, you can feel free to do so. And then we can also set up the search suggestions uh, tab here. So uh, if you want to set up the uh, quantity, which is going to be max 25 by default, you can also set it up to be whatever you want. So by default, it's going to be four, but you can feel free to increase it. Like we said, it's... Uh, 25 max and then we can also set up these su suggest single words i'm going to turn this off and you have more things here as well to uh, go through so i'm not going to dive way too deep into each uh, content section here so because there's plenty to discuss so we also have a sticky widget for it so if you want to set the uh, the sticky widget you can also feel free to do so if you want to disable it completely you can just do this and it's now pretty much turned off but if you if you would like to keep it just make sure you also go through the style of it where, where you actually want it to be uh, by default it's going to be bottom right and the color for the icon is gray but you can feel free to change it to whatever color that you want now uh, you can always keep it on or auto is completely up to you but we can just go to the next one which is product labels and in here you can actually go ahead and set up discount labels and if you want to do so you will need to actually go ahead and set up the background color for it and also the icon color for it um, and then we also have the uh, text here so you'd want to just go ahead and change that so you could say for example 
50% off and so on. Same goes for the rest of these labels here. You just want to take it and adjust it. And then lastly, we have custom CSS and HTML. So again, this entire section is going to be for the instant search widget. And same thing goes for the rest of them. So for example, we just go to suggestions, uh, di uh, di dictionary, it's not directory. Uh, you can actually go ahead and set up the uh, suggestions and uh, where you want them to set up. You, you can just go to general here, for example. Oops, sorry about that. We can just click on that again, click on suggestions dictionary. And in here, we can actually go in and set them up by either importing them or just clicking on general and it's just going to take me back here for some reason. But you can feel free to just use any sort of um, application that is going to help you with the suggestions. So if we just go to the next one here, search results widget. Again, this is going to have exactly the same steps. You just want to go from template and colors to content to product labels and so on. So it's exactly the same thing. References is going to be what is going to be shown uh, and the behavior of the actual application. So again, you will need to actually read through all of this and see which elements that you actually want to have it. Uh, how, how do you actually want uh, specific things from the application to work? So for example, uh, if you want to hide uh, out of stock products and so on. So there's going to be plenty to go through here. Synonyms is going to be uh, words that have, you know, different words same meaning that kind of stuff you would want to set them up um, so that it's actually going to appear in the search results and we also can go to the filters section real quick and add our own filters so we can just click on add filter from the top right here and we can actually go ahead and add uh, custom fil filters from scratch um, you know plenty that we can actually add and we can also add filters on collections so if you want to create a tree for a collection, click on create tree and click on setup navigation and it's actually going to take you there. Or you can just keep it as the default ones if you would like. And then we also have the merchandise and promo uh, elements here that are going to be also available where you can set up the products for it, tags, categories, and so on. But I'm just going to leave this empty right now because uh, it's not really my uh, go-to future for search and eyes. And this is pretty much it. If you want to play around with the uh, integrations and sales engine and so on, it's completely up to you. But mostly you're just going to spend your time with the search and navigation section and filters section here. So hopefully you found this video to be informative and thanks for watching.